been a month since Fairfax County police shot and killed 37 year old Timothy Johnson near Tyson's Corner Center after he was accused of shoplifting a pair of sunglasses. Today, Johnson's family and their attorney got a chance to view the body camera footage of the incident. They say what they saw was an execution. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marcella has been following this story since the night of the incident. He joins us live from Fairfax County Police Headquarters. Max, Timothy's mother said that the eight minute video was hard to watch. She says it was it what it showed according to her was the uh, police chasing uh, Timothy Johnson into the wooded area by the Tyson's Corner Center where we knew knew that shooting occurred in February. Then we uh, according to Johnson and the attorney, they heard officers yelling commands like lay down and stop before firing the shot. But today they are saying they still don't know what prompted officers to fire that fatal shot. This was the execution by Fairfax County police officers. One month after Timothy Johnson was shot and killed by two veteran Fairfax County officers, Wesley Shiflett and James Sadler, and after viewing the body camera footage police provided Wednesday, Carl Cruz, the Johnson family attorney, shared a message for the county's prosecutor. Justice delayed is justice denied. This officer should not have his freedom at this point. Cruz and Melissa Johnson, Timothy's mother, spoke after they left police headquarters where they were showed the video. This was very, very hard and difficult to watch and not really knowing everything and trying to process all of that at one time. It was very difficult. On February 22nd, the two officers chased Johnson to a small wooded area near Tyson's Corner Center. They say Johnson had stolen a pair of designer sunglasses. It was here that they fired their guns and Johnson was hit once in the chest. I do not know if our suspect uh, is, uh, was armed at this time. But police searched the area the following day and never found a weapon. Officer Sadler and Shiflett did not know his name did not know his age, did not know where he went to school, did not know the names of his children or anything about his past personal or judicial history. The only thing they knew was that he was black and male and had allegedly triggered an alarm from a store for some sunglasses. Fairfax County Police have said they'll release the same footage the family saw to the public on Thursday, but Johnson is still waiting. We're still waiting for answers to questions. It just does not make any sense at all. Now, as we wait to obtain the body camera footage again that we'll get tomorrow at about around one o'clock, we are hearing from the county's top prosecutor, Steve Descano, in a statement. He says that his office and he have seen the body worn camera footage shown to the Johnson family today. And he also said that he expects to make a decision on how best to proceed proceed in a couple of weeks. Reporting live from Fairfax County, Max Marcilla, DC News Now.